A message has arrived, and oh man, it's a Game Boy Advance, and it's a hologram. Hologram Boy Advance? I don't know. You puny little worms are no match for me now. I want precious peaches, peach, return safely. Bring me the four pieces of the beanstalk. Dun dun dun. Yes, apparently they're still making references to card games. Anyways, hello, peepels, and welcome back to Jodan 54's Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga walkthrough. In the last episode, in a bizarre turn of events, Luigi got Krabby Grass, revived Mario, but at the at the cost of Princess Peach. Was it worth it? Let's find out. For now, we must gather the bean star pieces of bell out of demands. Well, I guess we're now under the villain's control. Somehow, Peasley knows where they fell. So, he marked the areas where the pieces fell. That's pretty nice. <laughs> Dun dun dun, who will gather the pieces first? Gee, I wonder. We're going on an adventure playing as Mario and Luigi. Well, obviously the game developers aren't going to make it so that we're adventuring for nothing. So I wonder who's going to do it. Oh, wow. Wow, Weasley. Betting 99 trillion, 999 billion, 999 billion, million, 999,999 mushroom coins. That'll be him. If only you had one more coin. Guess you're a little short on the withdrawal you had from your bank today. Then I wait a minute. You're in the Bean Bean Kingdom. Why would you even bet mushroom coins? Whatever. You're on. Back, Louis. What is going on here? Pe Peasley is stabbing Luigi's butt, and Luigi is clearly enjoying it. And now he's embarrassed. Well, I would be too. The game is afoot, and soon we will be ahead. So Toadsworth's saying we should go get the Beanstar and Peace in Teehee Valley first. And his senses have been referred to as being strangely keen, so I guess we should trust him. Well, I guess I'll trust him after I take a break. See you in a sec. Alright, I'm back. Hopefully there will be no more breaks. Okay. So, for some reason, even though something terrible just happened... It's still playing this bright and cheery music. So, whatever. So we're headed to Teehee Valley. So, uh, pipe number six is the closest to Teehee Valley as we can get. So let's head there. Off we go. And we're already like there. I didn't even have to cut. We're right at the entrance. And I still love this music. This music is awesome. Du, 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 du. Now there's a new enemy here. They're really creepy. And, and uh, they're here in place of the gritty Goombas, I believe. They're called Anubus. Basically, when they attack, they'll turn into a shadow clone of one of the bros for a fraction of a second and then attack that bro. So you have to be really quick. And they have a ton of HP too, so ready your swing, ready your brother's attacks. Oh, well that isn't gonna get me the advanced command for Chopper Brothers anytime soon. Not that I really want it, considering it's not really that good. Oh yeah, there you go, Luigi. It's dealing out loads of damage. <laughs> Man, that attack is going to be my savior. Ooh, a level up. Good job, Mario. Uh, let's see, 26. Speed. Two. Ah, 
Was that like the lowest number on the roulette? I feel like they should have been higher. I mean, uh, lower. Brothers points. See, with Luigi, they're lower. Like, almost every single one of those numbers was a one, and there was like no ones in Mario's roulette. Are they just giving an unfair advantage to Mario? And, uh, the Anno boosts teleport all over the place, and they shoot weird tube lasers. Now, remember this little area? Well, you can actually go to the right here. And there is a docked ship in the middle of the desert. Logic for the win! Oh well. Ooh, sparkly! Wait, that's the bean star piece! Okay, let's go get it. Uh, yeah, skeleton guys. Yeah, this is bad. Yeah, it's sparkly, but wait, wait. Where are you going with that? Come back here, come back here! Oh my god, teleportation powers, where did you go? Where did you go? We will have to follow him. Next part on Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga Walkthrough. Bye bye.